A wool coat is an essential for me in an autumn winter wardrobe and I like to invest every year into one new wool coat that I know is going to go with everything in my wardrobe but isn't that hard because I do love a neutral, I love blacks, I love monochromes and I really love all the tones that you will see on this rail behind me. So H&M are killing it, I love everything at the moment. I've decided I'm going to do a monthly haul, so the start of every month, like the first week of every month, I will have a H&M haul on my channel of the best new in pieces uh, because my last video went down really well and every time I go on the website I want to buy something new. So I have an array of coats behind me. They're all a wool mix so they all have wool in but I will let you know about each specific coat as we run through them and try them on. I have since doing this order and these coats arriving ordered another two coats off the H&M website. I just cannot help myself which I'll leave on the screen here. One was this navy coat that I wanted to make with this order but it had sold out and it managed to come back in stock in a size small, so I've quickly snuck that in. And then this beautiful greyish coat, which I think is probably gonna be the one that I'm gonna end up keeping, because it's got lining as well, which some of these coats don't, and it's the perfect in-between color, uh, pretty much like a new Under the Stories blazer I've also bought. But I'm gonna run through these five coats. Obviously, I'm gonna be keeping all of them, and when the other two coats arrive, I will decide which is the best fit for my wardrobe. But obviously, at the moment, I'm not as keen of shopping in store, I don't know about you guys, uh, but yeah, I'm not really shopping in stores, I'm doing all my shopping online, uh, it means I can try it on the comfort of my own home and then return things. So just a bit of transparency there, I obviously do not need all of these coats, but I thought it would be a good way for you guys to see what the coats fit like, because obviously it is a bit hard when you're buying online. So let's get into today's H&M coat trial. First up is this grey military inspired coat. We have some beautiful puff sleeves and it also has a tight waist belt. Now this coat doesn't have any lining, but it feels super soft. It's made from 96% wool and 4% cashmere mix. So it's a bit more pricey. This is the most expensive of the coats that I'm gonna show you today. It's 140 pounds, but it just feels so soft and gorgeous. It's gonna be great obviously for autumn, but maybe going into winter, will it be warm enough without the lining? This is why I ordered that other coat the other day. But it's beautiful, a really nice grey colour, and if you're after something a little bit more structured, maybe a little bit more smart vibes, then you might love this one. And I picked the size small, and it's actually from their premium quality range. Next up from the H&M Conscious Collection, you're not going to be able to tell what this is like until you see me wearing it. I thought it looked really cool on the website, but I'm not sure how it's going to look when I try it on. It's an open coat, so there's no fastenings. We've just got two pockets. Again, no lining, and you've got some big slits. So when you walk, you might see the pockets, which is a little bit annoying. And then it also comes with this detachable scarf. And I just thought it looked really fashionable, really high-end. Uh, the cost of this one is £80. Again, it's a wool blend. It's about 50% wool, 44% polyester. I think we've got a bit of viscose and some other materials thrown in there. So it doesn't feel as soft, um, but it doesn't feel itchy. It's from the H&M Conscious Collection, if I didn't say that. And again, I picked up a size small and I thought it was a really beautiful colour. It is a brown, but you could blend it with greys and obviously it would look really nice with denims as well. And just a really nice warm colour that I think will go with most skin tones and hair colours. But I'm not sure how it's gonna all come to me compared to the model. <laughs> If you're into your neutrals, you might love this next one. So again, a size small, but as you can see, all of these coats are pretty large. Personally, I love an oversized fit, but if it's not for you, then you could always size down. This is a really nice kind of light oatmeal cream color. Maybe not the best for me, because I am prone to accidents, uh, but it's 50% wool and 50% polyester. Again, no, we don't have any lining. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work in terms of warmth um, and then again we have the you can see the pockets there and big flaps so if you're walking you might see again the pockets which could be a little bit annoying but it's going to be a great autumnal coat because it's like that in between it's not too hot with the lining and all the layers and I suppose you could always layer up the cardigans and other things underneath when it does get colder but I did really love the colour of this jacket which is why I thought I would pick it up a little bit more substance in this coat, and the only coat here with a lining in is this beautiful black wool coat, making the screen a bit dark. It comes in an array of colours. I do love a black coat, but I also hate the fact, and I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, that it just immediately attracts fluff. And having a very hairy lurcher, it's not always the best for me, so I don't know if this would be any good for me. Uh, has it got pockets? 
No, we have, I think they're fake pockets. Mockets. Or actually, no, you might be able to undo that. So you have got pockets on it. It is about 62% wool, 38% polyamide, and then you have 100% polyester lining. It says it's made with recycled wool and it's woven in Italy. And it is again from their premium quality range. So it does look absolutely gorgeous. It's actually quite heavy, so it's hurting my arm. It's got a lot of structure. It's like a road coat. Um, but again, I just feel like a coat like this is going to pick up so much fluff. So perhaps you would be better with this coat in the lighter colours that are also available. But it is going to keep you warmer throughout the whole of autumn and the whole of winter. The last autumn coat on my rail is actually my favourite. So when the other two coats I've ordered come to arrive, it's going to be between those two and this one. So it's in like a beautiful we say greyish, maybe a mushroom colour, it's in between a grey and a brown and I feel like it's really nicely structured, quite like ladylike but also still got that oversized vibes and we have this beautiful pleat detailing on the back here. Now again this is from the premium quality range, it's 50% wool and 50% polyester but it feels super super soft and we don't have any lining again in this coat unfortunately but we have two really handy nicely located pockets that I think sit really nicely and the coat's just really nice so I mean I could end up keeping this one and the greyish coat that arrives with the lining so I've got like an in-between one and one for when the weather gets colder because we know that H&M is selling like hot cakes at the moment so should none of these be available, you will be able to hopefully get your hands on them on the website. But I find really handy about H&M is that you can fill in like a little box with the size that you want and they'll send you an email when something comes back in stock. But obviously you have to be quick as soon as you see that email because like I said, everything just sells out so quickly. I don't know if that's just because it is super popular or are they stocking less and making it seem like it's really in demand. But anyway, I'm really loving it. So if you're loving H&M as well, I would love if you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, because like I said, I'll be doing a monthly H&M haul and bringing you the best of the new in from H&M and standing them up over on my channel here. But you can find me on Instagram as well, at Charlotte Buttrick, little cheeky plug. If you want to also go and follow me for some minimal Scandi Parisian inspired style and I love re-wearing items and getting the most out of my wardrobe so hopefully I can share that with you guys. But thank you for watching my little cheeky coat haul. Do comment below with your favourite coat and I will see you very soon for a new video. Bye guys.